before we start creating properties, we should first think about how we're going to pass data to those properties. If you think about a blueprint, a blueprint is not usually used just once. Usually it's used multiple times so that you don't have to keep creating multiple blueprints. That saves time. But there has to be a way to make the house a little bit different. So maybe we might change the amount of rooms. Maybe we might change the amount of um, bathrooms. Maybe we might change the color just to make the house a little bit different. But how are we going to pass this different data to the blueprint or to the class? In our case, we're going to use a constructor. Constructors are used to pass in data when an object is created. In our case, a house. So when a house is created, this is how we're going to pass data into it. In Kotlin, we have different types of constructors. We have the primary constructor and we have the secondary constructor. You can only have one primary constructor. So I like to call this the base constructor. But you can only have one primary constructor, but you can have many secondary constructors. And in Kotlin, we still have constructor overloading. If you guys programmed before, constructor overloading is when you're writing multiple constructors, but the parameters are different. They can't be the same because that would be counterintuitive if each constructor had the same parameters. We can use different amounts of constructors to specify what parameters that you expect. So maybe we just want the user to pass in rooms. We can have constructor for that. Maybe you want the user to pass in a room and the color of the house. You can have constructor for that. So constructor overloading allows you to have multiple constructors to allow for different parameters to pass in data. So the primary constructor, let's start that off. To create a primary constructor, all you got to do is place a parentheses right after the name of the class. Boom, and we can start, we can start writing parameters that we want to pass into this house class or right into the blueprint. You also have the option to write out the actual word constructor and then place the parentheses right after that. But that's optional and honestly i don't like doing more work than i have to sometimes and in this case if it's not necessary i can omit it before we talked about rooms we talked about bathrooms and we talked about color for the house so let's add that as a parameter so let's add rooms i'm gonna make that an int let's add bathrooms i'm gonna make that a double because sometimes you know some houses you know they can have 2.5 bathrooms because you know one of the bathrooms will come with a tub and then we'll add color and this is gonna be a string and boom so now when we create a house we expect the user to pass in rooms the amount of rooms the amount of bathrooms and the color so for a site like Zillow on a very basic scale this is perfect and for the primary constructor, we can even have default values. So if you think the user is going to put something sketchy or they're not going to put anything at all, uh, we can, you know, put in some default values and, you know, if they don't put anything in, then we'll just use these values. And then for a string, we can place that. We can put empty string. But in this case, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I want the user, I want to force the user to place in data when they create this house.